Welcome to Unrolled episode number 55 and uh, this could be the beginning of our, of us getting our shit together. My name is Mike, this is Chuck to my left and on the far left is Jeff Stitch. Do you know Jeff has a degree in broadcasting? From Lewis and Clark? Also the broadcast center, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's a double major in talking, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> and talking. it would shock most people. Yeah? Because I don't do a lot of talking usually. Yeah, no, you're pretty quiet. Yeah. Um, so, like, uh, so we were driving somewhere, Jeff and I were, and uh, he, like, does the call letters for WLCA, and it was so funny because it was, like, uh, it was, like, you know, it was just, like, listen, like, he's done it, you know, a hundred times before, which I'm sure he has, but it was, you know, it was just one of those things that was, like, uh, the, you know, muscle memory. He just like blurts it out and I'm like it's fucking weird <laughs> did you did you were you on WLCA ever? yeah yeah that's actually what we were talking about Mike said he that they used to listen because we both know Andy and Andy was uh, in broadcasting with me at the same time so Jeff that, will you hand me one of those cutters because I had one in my hand and then I lost it I don't yeah. know Andy uh, it's my buddy Andy Harder he comes in normally gets uh, LaGloria Cubanas so is he our age yeah, he's 40, 40 he, he 44. At, so we knew a guy that worked at WLCA night shift. Yeah, he was night shift too. Well, yeah. there's a couple, a couple folks. We got him in trouble. Oh. So, <laughs> so of course we did. But we knew a guy that worked night shift, and we would go in there and hang out and smoke pot, and, and that's what got him in trouble. Uh-huh. So, obviously, you can tell we are sitting uh, somewhere new. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram, you saw us on uh, a couple of posts that we're building Studio 3A, I guess. Right. I think. So, uh, and then video is probably going to start evolving a little bit, too, with this. And uh, we're not done growing and expanding, but we are. Uh, uh, we, be- we appreciate you bearing with us. I'm not the happiest about my audio, but it's fine. There's no hum. I hear it. Oh, you hear it? I hear feedback. There it is. Nice. Oh, you made it worse. It's Jeff. Yeah, it's this one. So, some of you might recognize Jeff. He's been uh, filling in from time to time, helping out at the cigar shop. And then, uh, he's kind of been my uh, road dog with me, uh, running around with Table 36, um, setting up playing golden tea at different locations and uh even selling cigars from time to time and then uh tomorrow tomorrow we have a long long day jeff and i do if you're going all the way down to sykes we are and they're super excited to have us so that means it's not like a one hour (laughs) or a one cigar trip that's going to be uh that's going to probably be a most of the day event which is going to suck so if you're watching this uh jeff and i are currently because this will come out on Wednesday. Jeff and I are currently rather in Sykeston or on our way to Sykeston, depending on what time this comes out. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. I've got this one down pretty good to where it drops. All except for that one time because I was sick. It drops at three o'clock on Wednesdays. So last Wednesday, Jeff and I entered a Golden Tea tournament. And uh, that was pretty uh, pretty cool to get my ass kicked so severely. Um, Jeff got his ass kicked pretty severely too. Uh, I think I'm good here because the only players are Jeff and I, and we're actually pretty on par. Like we've had very much matching handicaps a lot of times. And, uh, so, but yeah, we went there and, and I instantly got scared watching these dudes just fucking kick ass. I was like, I don't want to play. I don't want to do this. So they give you handicaps and differentials. And so I, I got to play four or five times and. Uh, somehow, somehow, it's just a handicap. I mean, it's but like heads up, I'll still down like seven strokes. So, right. But they gave me eight, so I get to win. I get to claim victory. <laughs> it's, you know, if I was that good, I'd be kind of salty. <laughs> so if I would have took your card, oh shit, <laughs> I, I'd probably won all the money. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'd have been a little upset too if I'd have been if I'd have been one of the good players and well, because of the handicap you get to win. So on today's episode, I'm smoking a Henry Clay Warhawk. I couldn't decide which one I was going to smoke and which one I was going to unroll. So I don't think we unrolled either one of them. So I'm going to unroll the Punch Rare Corojo. I think we've done the Warhawk. Have we? I think so. All right, cool, because I really wanted to smoke it. I think we've done that one. Nice. This weekend is the other Jeff's wedding. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then he's moving out next week. Well, no, he's going to be on his honeymoon the week after. He's got a honeymoon after a wedding. Oh. I think they're going to go to, like, I don't know, probably France. Who fucking knows with this guy? (laughs) He's got so much stuff to move, though. No, yeah. Uh, His TV, his computer, and his Xbox. So, straight bachelor, bachelor life. So... It's kind of been, I've been kind of up in the air about what's going to happen back there, but I think I'm going to change it up one more time. <laughs> so, just because that's how I how I roll. We need the space between Brad and us. We need the space, right? So uh, I'm going to make Josh a good offer on uh, Glenwood and just let him live there. Seems like he doesn't want to live there. I don't care. That's his option because this isn't. We need this space and. In, you know, with the amount of weed smoke in the studio and the amount of beats that go until one in the morning, you know, nobody, nobody should be paying to live in a weed factory. You know, you could, have, nice just, loud. You could have done that instead right. of smacking the floor. It was bothering me. Yeah, I didn't even see it. So I don't know. I'm going to talk to Josh. I told him I want to talk to him about it. I mean, nothing's ever going to happen to the house. Might as well get a tenant in there. Make the same amount of money, and then we have the space back here to do what we need to do. And then, because Brad asked for some shelving too, which we're gonna have extra of as soon as we knock that wall down. So, right. So, right. It, it all makes sense. He doesn't have the room for it in here, though. What's that? No, I was gonna put them against the other wall, Jeff's living room. Right. I was just gonna put oh, a couple okay. shelves right there because we're not gonna get a car all the way there. Okay. Normal <laughs> people wouldn't get a car all the way there. Maybe. All right. So Jeff Stitch that's sitting here uh, is uh, um, he he's he's got uh, something different about him than the rest of us. Uh, Jeff's got three effing kidneys uh, rocking. Uh, you got your third one. He was but, real greedy. But only one of them's good. Well, yeah, only one works. But he's got three. Well, that's what they told me. What's that? That I didn't see it, but they told me there's a third one in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean. <laughs> I mean, you can take I mean there's a nice scar. Yeah, yeah. They just drew that shit on. They tattooed it. <laughs> Build your insurance company. Yeah. Right. Like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he's done. I, I <laughs> can pretty tattoo. much tell it's working. It's a t- but... Yeah, it's tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't see it. <laughs> it's like mine. I was like, I asked my doctor. I was like, I didn't even see you. He it's goes, kinda, okay, kinda, you, you sleep. I surgery. That's how that works. <laughs> it's kind of like a Facebook car. Kind of like a Facebook all, He's all rebuilt. Yeah, yeah. Can't yeah. prove it. Right. Can't, yeah. No, got no paperwork. <laughs> Right. Lost all his receipts. Right. So, how long ago did you get your uh, kidney? It was uh, August 26th. So, a little over three months, three and a half months. Oh, August 26th. It wasn't that long. I know. Yeah. It seems like it was like last month. <laughs> like, I'm still nervous of you coming in. I told somebody something happened just last month and it turns out it was the beginning of October and I was really? like, well, hey did you go walk around yesterday yeah I did yeah a little bit yeah I actually walked uh, down the house and uh, seen somebody and got everything and I knew everything I needed to know within half an hour or so and no a point walking <laughs> well if they're down there they might see something yeah right well, right 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 and that was that was the whole reason I didn't go walk it because right. I was like dude I've been back there I'm going back there and cutting trees for firewood. I've been back there. Blah, right. blah, 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 blah. Right. And it's like, okay. Well, I ain't walking back there then. It's cold out here. <laughs> we need a buggy or something to go down the creek. Call it a search and rescue buggy. They can't get in so, trouble then. So when I had that white uh, tracker, right. Bethalto Police let me and Wingnut in there to go down the creek looking for this uh, girl that got lost. No shit. Yep. I'll be down. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's they'll always let you whenever they don't have to do something. 
Right. Right. I pulled up in this thing with no plates, and I said, "Hey, I said, hey, I can search that creek faster than you can." And he goes, "Well, I can't tell you to, but I'm not going to stop you from doing it." And he and he did let us all through the gate. Nice. And down I went. Hell yeah! Right on. <clears throat> uh, Wednesday after we're set for Pacific, Missouri, so we'll come back in time. See how we do. Uh. At two shamrocks. So. I'm literally planning events around Golden Tea. <laughs> so, like, well, if I go to Pacific, then as we come up, we can take this road. And we go to O'Fallon. Play some Golden Tea. I'm going to eat anything but the meatloaf. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't get there too early so you get intimidated again. You know what? What's with the meatloaf? I didn't like the meatloaf. Oh. Yeah. It sounded good. It was meatloaf wrapped in bacon. I mean, how can you go wrong? So it tasted like bacon? No, it didn't. It didn't. I, I left half of it. The only time it was good is I put Jeff's bacon jam on it. Everything wrapped in bacon or has bacon on it tastes like bacon. I hate steaks with bacon wrapped around it. Well, just give me I the just fucking don't steak. Like bacon. Just give me the steak. <clears throat> I don't like bacon. I just don't like it. It's not good if you want my opinion of it. What's that, bacon? Yeah. Because it, because it, then everything tastes like bacon. You don't get to taste the rest of the food. You get to taste bacon. I watched that movie you and Hinkle were watching. I went home and watched it. Yeah, did you? That was pretty good. Hell Baby. Yeah, that was pretty good. Hell Baby is a good one. That was dumb. I love it when folks come in with, I have a terrible movie for us to watch. Right. (laughs) And then we sit down and watch it. It That was the one that uh, we were laughing about. Yeah. Um, It was dumb. It was terrible. It was was fucking... But it had like big names in it, like right, bigger names right. in it. Well, it was it was it was funny. It no. was well produced. Yeah, it was it, uh, Key and or is it Key? I don't know. Uh, it's, yeah. it's the tall one. Okay. Well, Key and Peele, whatever they. It's other. Key because Jordan Peele's the director. Oh, uh, is he? Yeah. Okay. Um, I like the way that he just he just lives there. Yeah, yeah. It, it's fantastic. <laughs> yes. The grandma, everything about that movie oh, yeah. is fantastic. The so, grandma, the grand, or whatever, the old lady, the old lady down the street. Yeah, yeah she, she put her fingernail in my butt. Miss Deuce Bomb. Miss Deuce Bomb. Yeah, that yeah, was her name. yeah. So good movie. So yeah, it was. It was pretty good. Yeah, we're watching. Yeah, it was. So yeah, Hell Baby on Prime, and I think. At the the uh, the um, preachers, I guess mm-hmm. pastors, whatever, mm-hmm. they, whatever they're called. At the end, that was great. And don't worry so much about the baby you killed up there. <laughs> right. Yeah, focus on this baby, not the right. one you killed up right. there. <laughs> that was pretty good. Fantastic. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, I thought I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. So and then I watched we watched the new unsolved mysteries for the, the next new four hours. The new unsolved yeah, mysteries. That's on Netflix. Didn't, I didn't know they came out with a new. Is that guy um, still alive? No. Uh-huh. Speaking of that, though, they uh, they had a uh, uh, they were doing one where um, parents that have abducted their children and disappeared, and then at the end they show all these files that are you know unsolved naturally, and at the very very end, one of them the the boy that was abducted by his father, his birth date was eighty four, and I said, well, he's not even abducted no more. That's a grown ass man someplace. He's sitting watching Netflix and chill. Right. <laughs> and there he is on TV. He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> but would he even recognize himself? Right. Well, no, I showed a, a bigger... Because I, because that's what made me look at the birthday. I was like, that's a big kid. <laughs> that's kind of wild. What do you... So locally, what do you think is going on with this? I don't think it's going to be a good outcome. Yeah. No. no. So locally, there's a... Uh, I don't know how old she is. 31. She is 31. Yeah, so here's what's screwed up about it. And um, they're not telling people that... Who she hangs with? That she was running in, where's, you know, running in the circle she was running in. Right. And that's kind of important. Right. You kind of have to give people that information if you expect them to come up with any kind of result or help you in any way, shape, or form. Right. And it's... It's embarrassing. I get it, the stigmatism, and it's embarrassing, but it, it isn't it, it past that at this point? Yeah, if you want closure right. uh, or some resolution, you gotta you got to give out some more details. So I kind of figured that as much because 
you know, the way they worded it, she, she hangs out in this area. Right. Well, do you check the Bridge Hotel? So, so that's their only hope is that she's she's holed up in a tent someplace and doesn't want to come out, and you know what I mean. So, um, I mean, I got a pretty good lowdown, right, on on who she was. Right. So, I mean, so yeah, uh, and that's the only hope is she's 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 held up in a tent someplace and doesn't right. want to come out. So. Right. Well. Hopefully it turns out for the best. Yeah, I hope so, but yeah. I don't think that I don't think there's a good outcome. The the last two people she was seen with vanished off the face of the earth for three weeks. They did not resurface. For, they didn't go back to their normal spots. They didn't go. They were gone, gone for three weeks. Really? Yeah. But they did resurface eventually. Alive? Yeah. Oh. Interesting. So, said drug life. Uh, and that's when I was telling the one girl I was like it's it's you know <clears throat> she might just be whacked out someplace and right. <laughs> you never know yeah no I mean it's so, yeah she she might not want to be found yet but it sounds to me like they were uh, probably dosing someplace and uh, the thing that happens when you shoot heroin right happens happened and they just uh Either dumped her or walked away from her, one right, or two. Right. So. Oh, that's a sad thing. And it's cold, so yep. you wouldn't smell anything for a while. No. Nope. It depended on where it was. Right. Wouldn't find it for a while. You're not going to find it. It's a mushroom hunting season, probably. Right, right. When everybody's scouring them woods. So. Yeah. I don't know. I hope uh, I hope they find her, but I don't uh, I don't think they're going to have a good outcome, so. She's just a realist, realistic person in me. How long has she been missing? Over a month? Yeah. Now, did you see the news of that one guy that was missing since, like, April was finally found? Mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't catch any details on it. I think it was just... I don't think they released any. People come up missing around here a lot. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, Alton's lost a lot of homeless people lately. A lot. They come up missing around here a whole lot. A lot of homeless end up just passing away oddly around Broadway huh yeah well isn't that weird that is strange isn't it like I'm no detective but aliens it's probably it's the, aliens. those Jewish lasers shooting down and hitting oh, people oh calm down Kanye <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying you he's know. lost his mind he was on some show I seen a, a video he was on some show with a sock over his head talking about Dave Chappelle and I was dude, I kinda, this dude I kind of like that, <laughs> that that mask he was wearing that was cool I get it though I, I know what he's doing I understand what he's doing yeah he's getting cancelled out to get yeah. paid and leave yep yeah, I love that he's cashing out on this yeah and people don't even realize that they're like oh he's an idiot and he's no he's, he's cashing out on this I'm not saying he ain't crazy but no he's retiring yeah, that's all he's doing. You don't have to promote anything anymore. Mm-mm. Do you think he's crazy enough to? And they got all them contracts. Run. They have to settle out. Yeah, they have to. Oh yeah. Do you think he's crazy enough to actually run for a political office? No. Would you vote no. for him if you no. did? And that's what. And that's the other thing. I don't. I just, them people are so stupid. I just. People are so ignorant. So, in, did he change his... So the whole thing about him right now is the anti-Semitism, right? Right, right. There's an entire senator someplace that is anti-Semitic as fuck. Right. I mean, she is blatantly anti-Semitic. Says that... There's actually two of them. And, and says that shit all the time. And let's not... Let's let's focus on Kanye. Well... <laughs> if we You've do, got a senator that, that says that kind of shit. But if you do that, then you don't have to pay attention to what's really going on. Constantly says that kind of shit. It's. I, I don't know. I kind of hope he runs. And then old Elon. Old oh. Elon has exposed all the shit that was going on that everybody knew was going on. My favorite thing about him is. And, and it's still. Oh, well, he's taken away from. Come on. I like how he was the savior with all his electric cars to, and now to, he's one, a Nazi. to one demographic. And now. Now he's the worst person on the planet. Well, yeah, but it's the same way. It's, it's that that's what happens. Yeah. It's the same way. Right. It, that's what happens. Right. Like I, I went off on somebody the, the vaccine. 
Mm-hmm. If Trump had still been in office, different set of people would have taken that vaccine than who took that vaccine. Yeah. A completely different set of people. Maybe. It would have flopped. More, more than likely. It would have flopped. Not more. For sure. Definitely. The Democrats would have been saying what the what they're saying now, oh, yeah, yeah. and it would have been back. It would have been it would have been out of the way. It's ignorant, man. People are so stupid, so stupid. I've been watching that show, The Hundred, right? What's that's up? the one I've been oh, watching. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. kind of soap opera, yeah, 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 but yeah, it's yeah. it's days of our lives in right in the future, and, and it's it's you watch it and and you're like, yeah, I I kind of agree. I kind of agree with Thanos. What's that? Snapping think, your finger? I think Thanos should have been the hero in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on? I, I have events coming every... I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I know. I we have, have to... Uh, I have to... Uh, the Nissan van I mean, it's outside. Yeah. Yep. So, in case anybody was wondering. Yep. Nissan van does run. I've been driving it for two days. Yep. No, nothing. It's got a new rock chip in the windshield now. No, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, well, it's seven acres tall. So. Right. That's true. I mean, you're bound to catch something. That's true. I gotta, uh, I gotta go see if I get an insurance back on it now. How do you get a piece of glass for that? Um, I'm not going to. Yeah. Holy shit. It's gonna have to be made. That sucks. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought of that. Like, that's not a. That's not an in-stock item. Nope. So there's one of three of these vans in the country, and uh, I need a front windshield. You can't even find... Like, you might be able to get a cab over and cut it down. <laughs> no, it'll have to be made. Glass company will have to make it. That sucks. Good luck with that. I wonder if Glass can probably do it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I bet they could. They've made me several safety glass windshields before, so... Okay. So they made uh, both buggies. They made me safety glass windshields for... And then I had uh, other people's buggies that they made safety glass, that they made windshields for as well. So they can do it. They can do it. They Jeff, can do it. I think Jeff and I are going to go out to New Jersey in January. That's just not, that sounds like a terrible idea. I think it sounds fine. Unless the weather's terrible. Yeah, it's going to be. It's New Jersey in January. Yeah. I don't know. Think we well, can with global warming and everything, it's yeah, it's right. hit well, and miss. Well, yeah, we probably climate, probably climate go surfing. Change. Climate, climate yeah, change. Sorry, climate change. Yeah, we'll probably be able to surf for now. It'll probably be warm. So warm up there, I can surf. <laughs> Supposedly, like uh, late fall is like the best surf in Ashbury Park or something like that. That's what the Italians were telling me. That's what the Italians were telling yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know the name of their bakery, but they. Uh, Late fall. Yeah, they said the fall is like the best surf up there. And they said less less tourism, more time out in the water. Well, I'd imagine tourism's less because it's probably still somewhat cold up there. Uh, It's not that. I mean, it's up, but it's not. It's, all, it's damn near 70 east. Isn't it? Like 70 east for most till the end of 70? Yeah, it goes, yeah. Yeah. You can. I know it goes into Maryland. If you want to avoid the turnpike, although I think maybe part of the turnpike is seventy. I, right. It. Yeah. It's a. It's a long drive. Yeah. It's like five and a half hours across, just across Pennsylvania. Jesus Christ. No, is Pennsylvania like Kansas? No, it's hilly. No, right? there, there's quite a. You go through quite a few mountains. You go through a couple of the uh, where they have the tunnels through the the hills or mountains whatever you want to call them well that won't be so bad then five and a half hours through kansas is two days <laughs> it's two days it's all there is because it's all flat and fields no, and i enjoy kansas i've never not enjoyed there. i enjoy kansas because you can see the so road boring. for like seven days straight right yeah you can see the road and it's straight for the most part too it's just a straight shot yeah you could if you had a good car and nobody else on the road you could look over the windshield Turn right. on your cruise control and actually really take a nap without it being a self-driving car. Right. <laughs> Pretty close. Kansas is terrible. And my first time through, we hit Colorado. You hit that last gas station, and then you hit Colorado, and you're like, sweet, mountains. And then it's another two hours before you see mountains. <laughs> <laughs> well, you start to see them. 
but they're just they look like little hills right I like driving west I like going down 70 I don't know there's something about Kansas that's pretty nice I always drive I always end up in Kansas at nighttime and it, for some reason there's always a storm right but it, it's never raining on me well, I can just right. see it 100 miles away that's what I was going to say there's yep. always a storm because you can see like seven different weather patterns <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I, that's what I always enjoy about it. I always catch up to the storm, and then once it starts pouring down rain real hard, I just pull over and sleep. I like 70 after Denver. 70 and 15. Yeah. 15 through Utah. That's what I like. That's that's the best part of the drive, in my opinion. 15 down through Utah, and it runs you through um, uh, Las Vegas. Yep. And through all that sand, all them sand... Uh, sandstone I, I guess they're mountains I don't know what they are you ever been up to the Badlands up north no no it's pretty awesome it's just huge rock caverns no. everywhere and prairie dogs running around running amok <laughs> there's a sign that says don't don't touch the prairie dogs they have the plague <laughs> they have the plague so whenever I pick one up my mom's like the fucking sign literally just said they have the plague I go do you think all of them so, so all of them so this one right so stop and grab some antibiotics when we're done and we'll be alright Mike it didn't bite me I'll take I'm some fine. penicillin we're okay jeez I don't get sick just I, take some penicillin we have antibiotics now the nah, plague was I, just a bacterial infection it says this, the sign says they have the plague I go do you think every single one there's millions of them out here you yes. think this one has the plague probably it does not Probably. It does not. It probably does, actually. It's a, a baby. It does not. Just a little dummy, and that's how I caught him. Well, they're not the healthiest of looking creatures to begin with. No, they're adorable. I'd, they're I'd all, have one as a pet. I just they're all to... skinny and pot bellied out, like yeah. they've been smoking crack someplace for. Yeah, they look like Ethiopians. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they're fucking adorable. There's this little, uh, place it's closed now i think it was in kansas and it and it had a giant statue and it said of stop to see the five thousand pound prairie dog well of course i want to see a five thousand pound prairie. it was a fucking oh, concrete, a statue. Statue. concrete <laughs> statue but i was already there right so i paid the admission this place had six-legged cows that were real so did you watch meerkat manor no so discovery had a show where they put cameras out and they're they're meerkats not prairie right. the same thing though right and uh, they're still mustelids. They basically look the same. And they put they like like put cameras out where this one family of meerkats lived, and that was the entire show. You got to watch them do their. Somebody would you know talk about them. Right, stuff. right. You got to watch them live. They're basically their little lives. Right. And uh, I watched it for a while. It was, yeah. it was actually it ran several seasons, I think. <laughs> so. <laughs> Best shit on TV, really. Right. <laughs> now that, that that place in Kansas had um, three legged or three legged four five legged cows, six legged cows, and they were like uh, mutants, so it would have been like twins. So instead of having birthing two, it was like had extra parts on it. So like the limbs were dead, you know. It's just like legs flopped over, and the person said that Ripley's pays for them to stay alive. To, but they get them when they pass away to have them stuffed and put in their museums and stuff like that. <laughs> well, so that's weird. So I'm out there with Emily, and uh, so one's we we see the backside of him, and he's got two buttholes, and both of them worked because he was pooping out of both. And I'm she goes, I go look at that double dumping son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty awesome. Yeah, he, uh, he never has that constipation problem. Does no, he? no, it was it was weird to see like just legs fly like because now i was duped with this the statue right and then so i'm like are these real or do they just like fucking pin these fucking right <laughs> limbs on i was like is this like one of those snake, snake oil on. yeah some snake oil plays but when i saw two buttholes working like i was like oh shit that's real like <laughs> it, it was just clear as day just <laughs> coming out like two ice cream machines <laughs> i was like i don't like this podcast yeah yeah it was double shitty <laughs> Two buttholes, sometimes three. Right, right. Yep. It's nice to have three chairs. Nice to have a guest. We 
It's quiet back here. It's it we, is kind of echoey though. It, it is a little yeah. echoey. Yeah, yeah. we got to get some of those uh, foam things up around the walls here. So that might, uh, does he have extras? Yeah, that yeah, they're help. they're all by the TV, that by the help. golden tea. Yeah, we'll put some of those up for him. So he's been recording. He's been doing. Oh yeah, that guy was busy. in yesterday. Is there a guy in yesterday? Mike was in yesterday. Oh yeah, and then Brad was in last night. Somebody was came it? in late last night. Yep. Yeah, see, he was all had his haircut, and looking fancy for family photos. I need to go do that. Yeah. Today when we're done, maybe. Uh, you better hurry because I got laser stuff to do. Oh. Um, yeah. Just here. Oh yeah. Well, maybe he's got something to do. No. What, what do you got? Kidney stuff to do? He might. No. Oh, see, he's got to sit over here and ignore everybody while the golden team machine. That's his <laughs> only friend. Yeah. Uh, I played the uh, I played the winter one this morning. The uh, special event one. Uh huh. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. It's it's such a high scoring fucking possibility, and I was like minus three. <laughs> I was so fucking bad at it. Like I almost didn't even want to use my name. I was going to use Chuck's. Like it was fucking bad. Well, you still have brought his handicap down. I know, but well, <laughs> handicaps don't count on special events. That's but right. yeah, that's that was my only saving grace because I was like, this fucking sucks. So I don't know how it fucks. Up. There, I I literally stroke limited uh, on two holes. I so, haven't played it since he put that new track ball in it. Uh, yeah. So uh, I was looking up uh, raspberry pies, right? Mm-hmm. Well, what, what I was looking up what was in that one-up machine, right? And then uh, that got me to looking at Pies. what they actually are. Right. And you can buy the uh, console part, the okay. two-player console part. Right. For with the Raspberry Pi and like five thousand games. Right. You have. I had to. And you can Gold still hear talking to you. Piece of shit in here. <laughs> yeah. And I, uh, you could um, five thousand games. I had to hunt for the game list because, of course, they're not advertising it. But uh, 150 bucks, and I thought that was a pretty good deal. You could just build a cabinet around that. <clears throat> well, I know Bad I mean, Badish has a pie ready. He just needs a cabinet. I've been tempted to. Uh, I found cabinets on Marketplace for sale because I click on that stuff, so therefore I get to see it every time someone posts something. Right. For 150 bucks, <laughs> old school cabinets. Right. But uh, anyway. Um, I've been tempted. There's an outrun machine on Marketplace right now for 500 bucks. Jesus. Works. It's a sit-down Sega outrun machine. And I've been tempted to, to go get that son of a bitch. <laughs> I've been thinking about it a lot. This outrun was my favorite race car game. I don't know Sega. if I ever played it. <clears throat> you know, there was regular outrun and there was outrun... 3,000 or something like that that was all space age looking and that was a fun game too I want Spy Hunter oh, I was just getting ready to say Spy Hunter that's what I we have it don't we have it for the NES back here no we don't or not yeah nope we don't I found them I've, I have found them for sale locally but they want a bunch of money for them the Spy oh. Spy Hunter yeah because uh, they're like collectible oh are they <clears throat> well, I know Brad was talking about bringing a couple consoles to hook up to this TV. Right. That's why I put that table under it. Right. So we could probably pull that NES out and put it right there, too. It's better than sitting on a shelf. Uh, there's a Super Nintendo back there now, too, I brought up here. Oh, okay. Because I thought Danny was going to buy it, but he didn't want it. So. Oh, fair enough. I've been seeing ads for those their retro game things. Yeah. And 40 or 50 bucks, you can get like thousands of those. You know, old Nintendo and Super Nintendo and all that. I, I want them in. I'd, I'd like to have the Raspberry Pi on a console because then you can get that Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2. You, you get them all. Right. So, <clears throat> I mean, 5,000 games. There's a bunch of Japanese games in there that you're not going to play. But yeah. But they, they, they've got all the American games, too. That's the attraction, of course. But They're just padding the numbers to make right. it sound like more. Right. It's like when you get that bootleg DVD from the two, fucking... 2,000 games you want, 3,000 games that you've never right, heard of exactly. in your life and aren't going to... You'll, you never, to, you'll never play. Right, yeah. shuffle through a menu to get to what you want. 
But the 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 arcade console thing is is I don't know. That's the that's the attraction really. Oh, are you gonna talk about that thing at all? I mean, no, I was letting you guys kind of just gonna unroll it. Yeah, I'm just unrolling. What we've been it. doing and then not saying a damn thing about it. I'm taking pictures while I do it so I can post them on the on the gram. On the gram. On the gram. Just think I still have a little wrap relief on there. I really thought it was going to come apart in a one piece there, the wrapper. And for that unique size, I was going to be impressed. I'm expecting to uh, get in trouble, so I have to keep checking my phone. I sent, I sent, when she left yesterday, she didn't leave her contact, she just changed her phone number, didn't leave her new phone number, nothing. I emailed and gave her the phone number. <laughs> Who's that? I emailed her boss and gave her boss her phone number. Oh. Because I doesn't I don't care. Listen, I don't care that she quit. Right. I don't care. Whatever. Right. Figure it out. But such a good job. <laughs> well, you were just saying she was working herself to death, making such herself a good sick. Job. Well, that's, she's gonna do that no matter what job she picks, because that's how she is. She has to do everybody else's job. She has to do everybody else's job. You got what it is is you got a bunch of people that got a county job, and so they treat it like it's a county job. Right. So who cares? Right. <laughs> it's not my problem. I'm here for my paycheck. And then you got somebody that goes, "Well, it is my problem. That is my paycheck." Somebody so, trying to do the right thing. Right. Right. And that's how it works out. So. I wonder how they mold these. You know, like, is there a special mold for this size? Well, I'd imagine. Don't you think they got, like, a special press? and? Well, not press, but the mold itself. I mean, it's got to be. Well, isn't the press the mold? Well, the press presses the mold. I don't care. Well, I mean, <laughs> the words describe themselves. I don't care. Just kidding. I that's, what, fuck. that's why I don't talk about it while I'm doing it. This can't be the worst cigar podcast if we're uh, explaining it. Yeah, the worst cigar. Is podcast. it all long filler? That's all. That's all anybody yeah. cares about anyway. Yeah, premium tobacco. So this was the filler. punch rare Corojo in the champion size. So that's why it was the cool size. Hey, we had our anniversary party on uh, Saturday, and uh, Andy came up, brought his brother, Andy Beerman. Oh yeah! Shout out, shout out to Andy. Brought his brother, and then they bought a box of cigars. Oh yeah! Yeah, it's because his brother's from out of town. Okay. So was, he uh, picked up a box of cigars, and then Jeff <clears throat> had my truck, so I couldn't. My stickers were in the truck, so right, I couldn't right. even give him stickers. <clears throat> but uh, we had um, Minas Espresso came up that day, and uh, they brought the uh, some coffee and. They just brought uh, some gifts, which was cool, celebrating seven years. To me, it was, you know, like a, another day, but, like, it was a lot of people showed up, which was pretty cool. Um, my uh, dad's wife showed up, just a bunch of her friends, Pokey's wife. So, uh, but, yeah, they, they all tried a fresh hand-rolled cigar. Scott sold out of cigars. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they sold out. So, all in all, I thought it was... Uh, a pretty terrific event minus throwing all the shrimp on the ground so i had a big tray of shrimp and the tray buckled and all the fucking oh. shrimp hit the floor wonder why i didn't have anything to eat right yeah <laughs> so uh i'm very appreciative of everybody that came out uh it made it feel like it was something so i thought that was pretty cool i wasn't mentally into it so and then i was completely exhausted at the end of the night like i was I think I got home at 7 and went to bed. Well, like, I had intentions on staying until uh, it was time to go eat, but I... Too much perfume? I was in bed at 4 o'clock with lights off. Oh, yeah, that headache? Pounded. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, perfume. Perfume and cologne both don't stay there. All I smell is chemicals. I don't smell... I don't smell the prettiness that I guess you're supposed to smell. All I smell is chemicals. It kills me every time. Yeah, they, uh, 
Yeah, those uh, some people went from this cigar shop down to Alton, hung out down there. So, actually, I had to like transfer the bill down there, which just meant I called it in. So, transfer the because they weren't done spending money, so oh. they went down there and bought more cigars. So I just told Emily everything that was oh. bought out. Josh did well. We have a shit ton of dishes to do. Well, uh, the bar always does well. So yeah, yeah, we we moved very little um, beers, cans of beer. Everybody got uh, everybody got their uh, cocktails, so it was pretty good. But uh, the the guys from Brazil, they had an old fashioned, and they're like, "Do you have any Malibu rum?" They put Malibu rum in their whiskey old fashions to sweeten it up, and then. So we're like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, it's uh, old fashions. It gets whiskey, not fucking right. rum. And uh, but down there, rums, rums the main drink. Like right. whiskey is here. So, but yeah, they they so they took a drink as was because we don't have Malibu rum here. We don't serve a lot of women, and uh, so they uh, <laughs> we're resilience. Right. So they, uh, but yeah, so they. They, the one guy takes a drink Bruno takes a drink and he goes this is this is this is drink good drink he goes and then you know he doesn't know the, the proper terminology so he's taught looking at Josh he goes I don't want to say this wrong and I don't want to I don't want to scrub your balls <laughs> but this is the best old fashioned I've ever had <laughs> and <clears throat> so Josh was heavily complimented wrong but you know he's like he was like, well, how do you say scrub your balls? And we're like, no, but. <laughs> well, there's a shower in the back. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it was pretty funny to, uh, you know, hear someone not from this country, you know, but they plan their, uh, they plan their U.S. trip because they can be in the country for a couple months at a time. Right. So they planned it around the anniversary to make sure they showed up here. So it was very, I don't know, it was very caring. It was, a, it was pretty cool. And then uh, I made some of the coffee yesterday. It's really good coffee. How do you, how do you know these guys? Um, so they went down to, they had a shooting day last time they were, uh, earlier this year when they were in town or in the country, they went down to Paisal Armory. And then so uh, they came up and Paisal Armory came up and bought a box of cigars just so you can shoot and smoke and, you right, know, right. BS, you know, the whole, the whole cool Welcome to America thing, you right. know. And uh, so... But Pius Armory told them that I just gave them the cigars. So, like, okay. I just donated them, right? So they, this whole time, thought I just gave cigars to them. And where Scott came up and bought a box. Right, right. You know, so, I mean, he bought them at a discount, of course. But, so, uh, anyway, they, uh, so they they came up and, so that that's why they brought so many gifts. They were so thankful for the, the hospitality. Well, that was nice. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's kind of cool. So it started with uh, Jason at Piasaw and then it, like he invited them to, to shoot for a shooting range day. So they got to go shoot full autos and, you know, all that stuff. And they had a, they had a great time. They're very veteran, um, uh, minded, uh, company. So, um, but yeah, no, it was, it was, I thought it was, you know, they showed up with a huge box and they're like, Hey, this is for you. So they had big, uh, burlap sack that was the first yeah. batch so they they kept the first batch clean to give away his gifts so and then i put them in touch with mike and rose baddish so when they open the bakery down the street um maybe they will have some meanest coffee down there instead of you know caldy or right right whoever goshen right so but it was pretty cool so and then they're doing a barrel aged coffee so a local distillery in Collinsville called Old Herald. They uh, they're going to take one of their whiskey barrels and barrel aged coffee beans, and so they grow their own beans and then ship them to Edwardsville, and then they also ship them to uh, I want to say Wisconsin or Michigan. Michigan, and then yeah, so and then that's where the two roasteries are, and then they also uh, sell wholesale the beans green so people can roast their own. So they're actually. So they're from Brazil. Mm -hmm. They're actually growing the beans in Brazil. Yes. And sending them to Edwardsville, Illinois, of all places. And somewhere in Michigan. So the Michigan roastery is bigger and has more accounts. 
And then they also, since they have, it's like a small, it's like almost like tobacco. So they have a small family farm um, that, and then small and like versus like Folgers or whoever, mm-hmm. right? Um, but they, uh, yeah, so they have a Michigan roastery and one in Edwardsville. So how did you find out? How do you find? Because it can't be that the one in Edwardsville can't be a big place. I mean, there's certainly there's great big companies that do this so how do you find the one in edwardsville illinois of, of all places because nobody knows where edwardsville you i could go to missouri and people won't know where edwardsville illinois is so i think it came to like their u.s partners in it so they have to have someone stateside so this guy lived somewhere in the metro east so he found a barn or whatever a, a warehouse and so it's off sand road i pedal right by uh, it. cheap Cheap, cheap. That's, that's why. That's cheap Edwardsville. Kind of, yeah, right. cheap. So it's got an Edwardsville zip code. You can cheap say Edwardsville. Cheap, right, right, right. right, right. So, um, so, yeah, so, you know, that guy, you know, I told him, so we were talking, that barrel-aged coffee is probably going to be branded as Table 36. So, that way, I mean, you should have coffee on your table. Right. Right. So... I mean, the marketing's right in itself. Oh, yeah. I said, I want that to be mine. He goes, okay. He goes, you can have it. Right. He's like, you want to come down and try it? I'm like, you're aging coffee in a whiskey barrel. I mean, fuck Christ, it can't be that bad. It's going to sweeten it up. So I gave him some peacemakers um, for to smoke with the barrel coffee because they'll get it before I do. Right, right. And I said, so pay attention to the pepper and the peacemaker versus the smoothness from the whiskey and the coffee. So the coffee was already, I mean, zero bitterness. And I used Rosewood Heights water. So, <laughs> I mean, that shit's hard as shit. <laughs> but you bar- but you, but you uh, boiled it, so. Well, yeah, I went, ran through the coffee pot. And I don't know if I'd say I boiled it, but. Coffee pot boils water, doesn't it? No, no. It's, I mean, it gets it hot, but it's it doesn't hot, boil yeah. it. Oh. Yeah, it's not boiling. Huh. I mean, it probably cleans a lot of the rust out of it. Right. right. I mean, you know, this is the only place I've the ever seen. The benzene stays, though. Right. Well, yeah, you got to have the benzene, you know. Fuck, it's not. You can't be this close to a refinery and not have benzene. So, but yeah, I, I've never seen a place where the water stains the toilet so quickly. Oh, yeah. The bathtubs, toilets, oh, it's everything. it's terrible yeah. here. I was, yeah. like, I was bitching about the Godfrey water prices, but fuck, it doesn't stain everything. Yeah, well, the water, it's this, this is a whole area because you might, do you got a water softener? I was going to say, because most people have a water softener, so it doesn't do that. It's just all the calcium. So and, I drink. And it destroys fixtures. If you don't clean fixtures, yeah. it destroys them in a matter of years. Yeah, we, uh, water heaters, everything. I drink, uh, I drink the water, uh, straight out of the tap. I drink about 40 ounces every day. That I don't do. So that way, it just builds my immune I like, system. I like my water nice and filtered. Yeah. I drink. I only drink filtered water. You only drink sweet tea. They filter the water. Get out of here. It's ninety-five percent water. Have you ever made tea? Yeah. No. It's it's it's, it's all water. Yeah. It's stained water. I'll tea bag some water for you. <laughs> Fucking let you drink it. Listen, I don't want to scrub your balls here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was probably the best line that I caught all night. <laughs> Just awesome when a foreign guy is trying to do a U.S. reference. He's like, uh, how do you say? I do not want to scrub your balls here, but this is the best old-fashioned. And I'm like, that's fantastic. It's a compliment, <laughs> so you're not busting his balls anyway. Yeah, no, like but, busting the balls isn't right, but yeah, he scrubbing the balls. I, I don't know. I, I it, it makes sense, so I don't think it's really that far off. With his accent and everything. Yeah, so. it was awesome. Yeah, they were super cool. The one guy was learning English, so he was he was pretty fun. Um, but yeah, they were, uh, so they'll be in town for a couple, well, in the country for a couple months. I think they were heading up to, you know, on Sunday or Monday, they were heading up to Michigan. Because that's a little busier, the two places. Right, so, right. But that's, yeah, the, that's probably where they should be. <laughs> right. But, you know, to, to make a point to come here and say congratulations and I'm like it was actually like 10 days ago you know it's like when you have a birthday party a week after your fucking right. birthday you know it's like to me the luster is gone so yeah same thing 
Nobody knows when it was. I'm surprised you know when it was. I forgot one year. <laughs> January, Scott texts me. He goes, hey, we forgot to do your uh, anniversary party. And I went, oh, shit. We sure did. He goes, do you want to do it now? I'm like, fuck, it's January. A whole month's passed. I don't know. <laughs> well, that was last year, wasn't it? No, we did last it last year. Last year, year before? Yeah, it was like two, three years. No, it was two years ago. Two or three. I don't know. Yeah, one of the times. Yeah, I completely forgot. And then Scott's like, I guess we didn't put it in our phones. So right. it's not in the calendar. So I went through. I had to cancel. Because I, I was supposed to be Thursday night. I was supposed to be at Big St. Charles Harley for their guys' night out. So it's a last time I was there last year, it was pretty good sales. But that's Jeff uh, Jeff's uh, rehearsal dinner. Rehearsal, right, right. rehearsal and dinner. So it's like I got to got to pass on that. So I'm passing up money to fucking stand there. <laughs> no jokes. No jokes. Well, and then so this morning I go, "Where is it?" He goes, "You don't know where it's at." And I'm like, "No, I don't. I never you never gave me an invite. Like I don't know where I'm going. What time is it?" There's all these things that I should know, but I don't. Because Jeff's terrible at that kind of thing. Yeah, he's not good. No, he's terrible. So now I know where it's at. I can put it in my phone and get myself there. Right. He goes, well, it's by the old Shaftley place in St. Charles. Not from St. Charles. Bro, I mean, give me, like, is it at a church? Is it at a fucking cabin? Like, is it on the river? Like, I don't know what the fuck near Shaftley means. <coughs> that was so loud. That, he's terrible at all that. Yeah, so. no, he's really bad at it. He was probably supposed to invite more people, and you just simply didn't. I, I agree. It's, <laughs> there's probably going to be 500 people on her side and right. four on Jeff's side. And it's all he invited. He was probably supposed to invite like everybody. He didn't invite all your friends right. and stuff like right. that. No, he. He was like, oh. Yeah. And then they're like, I'm like, so I, today I, I go gotta play World of Warcraft. <laughs> I don't have time to invite all these people. <laughs> Hold on, there's a guild to raid. Right, <laughs> right, right. Jeff, you play World of Warcraft, don't you? Yes. Yep. Fucking nerd. He's been playing the old one back there. Oh yeah, like the old. It, it almost looks like a. It almost looks like a sixteen-bit Sega. That's what he's playing. <laughs> yeah, nice. They, yes. Every podcast. They that decided, was a nice ring. Yeah, it did. They decided a lot of people liked it the way it used to be. It's a lot more. It's a lot easier now to play by yourself. Right. You know, back in the day. You needed a good group. Right. I don't have my group anymore. Wow. Everybody I played with quit a long right. time ago. They, did they grow lost, up, Jeff? Lost their virginity. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Had kids, right. you know, stuff right. like that. Right. They grew right. the fuck up, Jeff. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Welcome to the cigar shop. You're perfect yeah. here. Right. <laughs> Chuck plays Grand Theft Auto all the time. He's beating it. It's it's done. I'm, no, I've never beaten it because cool. I don't play. I, just, I, don't, I don't play it that way. I, I just go online and, and snipe the NPCs from tall buildings. Wow. <laughs> That's basically all I do. We got, uh... Playing the missions makes me too mad. So is Jeff in view? Is that ashtray in view with the camera? Um... Uh, I don't know if the ashtray is. It uh, should be. The ashtray is uh, courtesy of uh, Mr. Leo Stone. Yes. Yep. We went down and uh, his wife uh, donated some stuff for the cigar shop. And, uh... I think we're gonna do a herf in May, and uh, we'll do a little smoking herf down at Leo's house, and I'll put out more details uh, as it gets closer to May. So, should be a good time. A bunch of people just sitting at somebody else's garage. You talk about it being smoky in here. Well, Your eyes are gonna be on fire down there. I'm hoping. Yeah, remember we did the podcast yeah. down there. It was it was yeah. uh, way smoky. But uh, if we open the garage door, it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. as yeah. long as it's not snowing in May. You know, global warming. So Right. Climate change. No, whatever. It's the same difference. No, they changed it to climate change because people kept going, Well, it's uh, not warm. Where's the warming? All right. So now it's climate change. It's all horse shit anyway. So. <laughs> well, that volcano erupted, so our temperature is going to go down. It's all horse shit. All every single bit of torsion. I bet you the I bet you this planet regulates itself just fine. Right. Right. It's all human ego. That's right. all it is. But the cows are farting in New Zealand. <laughs> if, 
if this, cows are farting. And if this planet decides it doesn't want us anymore, guess what? We're dead. I can't. I cannot wait. <laughs> That's it. I cannot wait for the New Zealand people to turn into fucking like zombies because they're gonna stop eating fucking cow meat. Yeah, they're gonna outlaw the cows. They're gonna outlaw the cows there with the tobacco. Why? Because the cows are farting. This is real fucking well, serious methane, shit. Well, methane is the worst uh, greenhouse gas. Right, so. right. From the cows. Right. Right. So. So. My grandma lived to be 101, and she said the temperature always changes. Yeah. You could give, my mom said you could give her a year, and she could tell you what the weather was that year. Right. I mean, she's like, it always does this. Was your mom rain man? Or your grandma rain man? Yeah, was your what? grandma a meteorologist? <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Uh, yeah, she grew, she was born in like 1916, I think. Okay. Gotta so, go to Kmart. Gotta, gotta go to Kmart. <laughs> gotta go to Kmart. Gotta, gotta, uh, uh, the, the weather in 1952 was... It was unseasonably warm that year. Right. Yeah, it's all horse. It's all human ego is what it is. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Well, that's what they're tapping into. It's well, all no, no. It's bureaucratic. Money. Yeah, it's money. all bureaucratic it's all... nonsense, but they're tapping into the human ego it's with it. Well, all sure. Money. So you can pat yourself on the back saying, oh, right. I'm helping the environment. Right. You know? Right. Right. Well, t- Listen... I ride an EV most of the summer to and from here, so I'm helping the environment. You are a local hero. I'm helping. That's right. Helping but, the environment. I cancel it out by doing burnouts and rusted out Mustangs. <laughs> but oh, that drops well, next you, Friday. Yep, that drops next Friday. You next do Friday burn, or this you Friday. do burnouts out here in the other room on your on the one wheel. So right, right. right. You're, you're burning carpet fibers. <laughs> right, that's got to be emitting some kind of toxin. Right. Explosions in or, the, on the patio. Uh, ah, <laughs> yeah, that was fantastic. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad I caught that. Just one of those things where when Chuck's being quiet, I'm like, I'll get the, get the, fuck, this is going to be good. And yeah, it was. Yeah, I wonder, because he, he, I just saw you walk out on the patio and he didn't even see you. And it's like, how did you know? Because that, I know. Right. Because <laughs> I know how this thing is sitting there with gas in it. The fumes are building. So it's going to explode. It was just that. I expected a little bit of a poof. <laughs> I didn't expect <laughs> It took me too long to find something to light it was is what happened. Yeah. No, it was I had fantastic. to hunt a lighter down and Yeah. That's impossible around here. No, there's literally lighters everywhere. Yeah, but, well, oh, well they walk out the door all the time. Yeah, but. Well there's that. Right, I think I've got six at my house again already. Because I'll be walking around and lighting the, and I'll have to relight my cigar and then it ends up in my pocket. And then I take it home. So, oops. There's probably four or five in the garage that are just gone. I'm super excited to get the garage cleaned. I'm excited to see it clean, to try and make an effort to keep it clean and organized. I know, right? But I'm not excited at all to do it. So. I'm, I'm pretty excited to do it. But you got to organize the tools since you're the one always into it. I'm not excited at all to... to to do that especially organize the tools that's my least favorite part because that's tedious that's sitting down and putting everything together and trying to and, read numbers on some fucking greasy right, tools I normally just go by new <laughs> tools I'm excited to take the wall out get some actual space in there right and then that would be nice put the motorcycle in the bedroom put it to sleep till next summer right right that way it stays less dusty Right. Because somebody's got sand back there every fucking week. Well, I'm at that part. Yeah. I'm almost done with it because I can't do I I, I did worse yesterday than sanding than I did if I had not sanded it. Oh, shit. So, now it needs more fill on it. Right. Year, so well, I sanded it too much. That's that's part of the fun. Part of the fun. Oh, what's, what's, oh, uh, what's this Friday on the Fix-It Friday? Uh, the Mustang. The Mustang Grande. is. Garande. Garande. Yeah. That was a great day. It really was. I, I actually, if uh, I was thinking about it yesterday before I got the news, I was thinking about running it down someplace and, and asking him what he would charge me to just finish it and paint it and, and be done. Shit ton of money. But, right. 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 It's got a lot of helpers. It would almost be worth it, though, because I want it black. I want that, so that moonroof panel to be black. Right. So, I want the rest of the, I changed my mind. I want the roof white, but I want that moonroof panel to be black because then it'll match the ragtop. 
Oh, okay. Okay. So. I just threw away the ragtop back box. Yeah, I don't care. I know. But I was just telling you. I threw away your trash. I only well, it was only back there because it, in case there was something in it that I missed. Yeah, I threw the rag it. tops on the working, so yep. it can go. Yep, I threw it away. I only keep things until I don't. I know for a fact oh, no. that I don't need yeah, them yeah. anymore. I'm not. I don't. There's BMW parts back there that were hoarded for who knows why. Still need to be delivered. Who knows why? Well, the back seat needs to go down there. Right. So, huh? There's headlights and all kinds of shit back there for a BMW. Oh yeah. So. It's nice. more cardboard in the dumpster for the next dumpster fire. That's right. Well, you know, I mean, shit happens. That's right. Shit happens. That was entertaining. Was. I thought that was pretty good. That was pretty good. He gets all excited, and I just get up. <laughs> I just get up and slowly walk back there. Well, I was trying to get what's it. it what's going to happen? I was trying to get it extinguished before the fire department showed up. What's I mean? But I, I failed. <laughs> so the fire department still had it mostly out. I did, yeah. Oh, they're just right here, though. Yeah, no, their response time was pretty good. Yeah, Rosewood Heights is a, that was impressive. If it had been Cottage Hills, oh, the yeah. entire dump, it would have been out. Yeah, all, all by itself, we could we could have just sit back there and watched it. It'd have been <laughs> all the by marshmallows. Itself. Can we can we shout out Aspen? Because I literally text the guy with the fire department spraying the thing. I send him. <laughs> I send the guy a fucking photo. <laughs> A selfie with yo, I need a new dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> and he he just sends me laugh out loud, okay. And like the next day, I had a new dumpster. It was yeah, like they're fantastic. I mean, they're just gonna blast it, paint it, and send it out. You right. know, I mean, it's thick ass steel. So, right. but yeah, it was like yo, I need a new dumpster. And you know, it's like you couldn't do that with a public service. You couldn't text nope. them. You know, so I mean, what a what an awesome guy. Doesn't ask. Didn't you know my bill so far hasn't gone up for burning their dumpster uh, when I was a kid Jeff uh, my grandpa caught a car on fire in a, under our carport at the house and the, one of the neighbors called and it was a fire fire it was a, it was it was a gasoline fire on top of that and we had it out before Kaiser Hills Fire Department is a block away it's a block <laughs> away now granted they're all volunteers but they all live right there all Right. so they pull up and I'm not shitting you. They pull up. And I remember this. I was like 10, maybe 11. And I remember this. When they pull up and get out of the fire truck, or it wasn't the fire truck. It was the fire chief's personal car. And uh, when he got up and got it, beer cans fell out of the car. <laughs> they, they'd all been at the bars, what it was. <laughs> they, we, he had it out. He had a gas, a full engulfed gasoline fire out before the fire department showed up. Oh, wow. Well. My dad caught his Harley on fire, right in the drive oil. He hadn't had one since. Really? Yeah. Fire department come? I don't think so, because it, you know, it's not like a car. It's not that right. big. Big Mike Swearingen had an issue with his uh, bike catching on fire while he was riding it. <laughs> while he was riding it, he would just start fire. I did. I know. So I think Chris Inkle, his bike started on, caught on fire when he was riding it. Knock on wood, mine has never caught fire while riding it. It's a, it's a Harley issue. Right? I yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, just, I don't even know if he was riding it. He might have just got it out to start it up. Right. You know, because he wasn't riding it. Right. Just sitting there warming. It's been up. a long time ago. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I didn't know your dad rode. I used to. Yeah. Just I've been on it with him before, up. but I was a little. Well, not little. I was never little, but right. I mean, it warmed up. Yeah, yeah, but it was <laughs> real warm. <laughs> And it's kind of like his boat and his camper. He's got to get them out every once in a while to make sure everything works. Right. Because they just sit there. Yeah. Right. So you still have a boat? Yeah. Does he? Oh, he got a new boat like two years ago. And my mom's like, he never takes that thing out. Maybe now that you're here, he'll take that thing out. Oh, that's cool. Is it a fishing boat or? Yeah. He used to have a John boat. Now this one's like an actual tracker. No shit. It's not a brand new one, but it's. Yeah, right. It's still nicer than a John. Yeah. Nice. Nicer than my boat. Do you still have a boat? I actually do still have one of them. Boats. You never sold? Did you ever sell that one? I sold that Jet John, yeah. Well, you should. You got nationwide recognition on your ad. If you're scared, go to church. Right. What what podcast was that? Um, I don't remember no more. Yeah, some podcast caught it. Caught his eye. Was it a fishing one? It was yeah. A, yeah, it was yeah. a fishing podcast. Saw his Jet John thing in there. Just loved the the line. If you're scared, go to church. <laughs> if you're broke, if you're broke, don't message me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind of cool. Little little shout out. Just yeah, to, I don't remember. Uh, the guy's name is Joe Samerlo. 
or Carmelo or something like that. Right. But uh, uh, yeah, I don't remember the name of the podcast though. Yeah, everybody's got podcasts these days. Yeah. Right. Every dick beater's got a right. podcast now. Right. Every every asshole. Right. Doesn't mean they're any good. Check my calendar for Andy. Tell him what's going on. Andy, tell him what's going on. Well, yeah, I'm gonna check my calendar. Oh. Um, uh, what time is it? Uh, Eleven sixteen. Um. Yeah, so uh, we gotta finish getting that safe open. Oh yeah. We gotta do that next uh, next Monday, uh, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. So I gotta find that memory card. It should be on the shelf up there by the cash register. Okay. That's where it should be. See, we'll have Jeff cover Monday and we'll go down there and finish I got I got more of the front cut open. And then the wheels and grinder are down there. Yeah, I needed the grinder the other day and yeah. I remembered it was down there. Yeah, it's so. down there. I used it when I was working. So might have to employ Jeff a little bit more if Emily gets a job. Somebody's gonna have to work down there. Why? Well, Emily won't be there. You can be there. Can I, do I have to work? I mean, could save money first quarter. Right. All right. I gotta get a TV down there. There's no way I'm gonna fucking survive. A oh. second golden tea machine. <laughs> right. We're the only ones to put money in it anyway. It's, I mean, and he seems happy that, you know, he's happy enough to give you one, and only two of us play it. So. Right. Yeah. We. Right. It actually makes more money than one at Pete's Lounge. Jeff and I put more money in that son of a bitch than <laughs> the whole entire bar at Pete's Lounge. We were uh, we were gonna try to go to Santino's uh, last weekend. Where's Santino's at? It's the one by the mall. It's the old pasta okay. house. It's, I heard that come up yesterday, and I was like, "Wait a minute." Well, yeah, yeah, we we're talking I about was for, thinking of for, something else for Leo's. Yeah, uh, I was thinking of a different Santino. Oh yeah, no, 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 yeah. Yeah, I always I always get a little salty when somebody says Santino's in a cigar shop. I get all pissed off. So it's one place we don't go. We don't go to Santino's. Uh, this will probably gets shared now because of it. But, <laughs> right. Right. And everybody's everybody's a snake. So share it with him. He's yep. a bitch. Yep. <laughs> so, done proved that. So no, they we were gonna go there and she goes forty five minute wait for a table or two. And I'm like, none of not a fucking chance. So I was going to go to Pete's. And right. Ginger really, it was like right as she was coming out of this cold, last cold she had. So, uh, so I was like, let's go to Pete's. And she goes, do you just want a Hardy's mushroom and Swiss? <laughs> Bro, I'll never say no. Yeah. I'll never say no to a Hardy's mushroom and Swiss. I, haven't, I don't ever eat Hardy's. I did. It's the only thing worthwhile. is fucking mushroom and Swiss there. I fucking love the that shit is. out of that. And then I heard Lion Choice has a mushroom and Swiss now on, on roast beef. Where's Lion Choice at? Edwardsville's closest one. Oh. Edwardsville's got everything. Yeah. Yeah. Edwardsville's the new Fairview. Whatever's working on it. What's that? Uh, yeah. Slowly. But they are. Supposedly that pizza place is pretty good down there. Joe's? Yeah. Wait, no. It's... Wood River. The 1929. Where's that at? Uh, they took one of them old fucking dilapidated buildings. And then made it nice. In downtown on Ferguson? Yeah, right off Ferguson. I want to say on Woodover Avenue. Huh. It's actually really... On Woodover Avenue? I want to say Woodover Avenue because that's like the second street coming from Alton. I'm, they're building something there where they filled the pool in and I don't know what they're building. Mm, maybe a splash pad because oh, we always yeah. need more fucking splash pads. Jesus a whole Christ. generation of kids that won't know how to swim. Well, yeah, no. They can just splash around. Drowning deaths are going to go up. Well, they'll take their EVs to the hospital. <laughs> at least there's no cows farting I mean that's the only fucking it's the only the only shimmering hope that I, was, I have I was telling Sarah that the other day I feel bad for for that generation bro that high dive at whatever pool scared <clears throat> the fuck out of me the first time I was up there I feel, I feel I just feel bad for that whole generation that don't get to experience all the that fucking dude you had to man up you had to man up you had to man up on that fucking thing. And you know those lifeguards aren't saving you if you don't know how to yeah, swim, that's, bro. That's why these kids are... are that's Soft why, as fuck. That's, well, that's why our generation is so robust. It's because we swam in, in... Every summer, we swam in pee. Dude, and... Pee and chlorine. So every like, summer. So a little bit of vomit. <laughs> in the fucking 90s, man, I swam in Woodover Creek. 
Yeah, that's, that's usually where we swam. Where right. The creek. You know, Olin was dumping toxic shit in there, and we were fucking swimming around. That's why I'm so immune. Well, we swam up creek from it, but... I swam right there at the fucking pipe. But I can still take you... <laughs> I can still take you to the spot where the where you could literally watch the uh, the sewage drain back up and drain right into the creek. Yeah, because it was busty. I can I can, I can take you right to that spot. The creek's real low right now. Real low. Yeah. Really low. Yeah. 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 I'd, I'd always do a creek check when I drive over. Be nice to go up it. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah, we need something. Yeah, we don't have nothing though. We need a Hummer. <laughs> You couldn't get that down there. Oh, it's too fucking Way wide. too big. I took a Suburban down there one time and beat every panel on it all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jeff's got four-wheel drive. Oh, yeah. And it sounds like it should be in the creek anyway. <laughs> right. Sounds like it should be left in the creek. Somebody was supposed to fix it. Well, you were supposed to be gone for six months. You fucking <laughs> came back in like 30 days. Right. You need to give us time. Right. I don't know. You told you- me one day... I don't we'll, know that we'll it can come be pick fixed. it up Wednesday. We'll probably come pick it up Wednesday. I don't know that it can be fixed. It probably I, needs a new by, manifold. By, yeah, that's what I, that's right. what it sounds like. Yeah, probably needs a new manifold because it's got a pop to it. It's got an echo, bubbly sound and pop to it, and that's usually manifold. Correct right? manifold. Yep. That's right at the block. Yep. So, which just means you need to get long tube headers, <laughs> some cherry bombs. What's oh, in that? What are you getting into me? It's got to be a V eight. No, it's not the six. Is it? Yeah, right. it's, it's got to be their three points, whatever it was. Three point, three point eight. No, that's Chevrolet. Oh, uh, yeah, Chevy was a four eight. No, no it's a three six. Chevrolet had a three eight. Three eight hundred. Oh yeah. I need to put that in trucks so. though. I ain't putting no fucking thirty eight hundred in a truck. They put it in everything else. Oh, fucking. It, it, the trucks would have been better if they put it in a truck. What's going on with this van? We need to... Which van? The the van in Dow. Oh, all we got to do is uh, A, have the cash, and B, fucking go up there with the trailer. Cash is sitting there. Yeah. Cash is sitting there, so... All right. It's there. We just need to go up there, uh, get that fucking turd. That's going to be a hustle, because they don't want to sell it. No... Here we go. So we're going to need uh, we're going to need the GoPro somewhere strapped but hidden because they're fucking paranoid too. <laughs> they're fucking. I'm telling you, dude. They're fucking tweaked. They're fucking. They're dope. Dope sick all the time. No. No, dude. The hustle's real. It's not even a hustle. It's here's some cash. Go get you some dope. But yeah, but we can't do it on the first. Remember? That's why we right. didn't go last right. last week. You can't go on the first when they get their paycheck. Right. So, the first and the third got, are holidays for these I've got a courier lined up, so. Yeah, but this is cheaper. Well, no, that's, the courier's about the same price, but it's, well, it's cheaper because it's a drive. No, is it down Kentucky? No, it's uh, down by Farmington someplace. Well, fuck, we're going to Sykeston. They're Wednesday. We're going, someplace. we're going to Sykeston Wednesday. Well, you guys are going to Sykeston Wednesday, can you not. Can you drive it back? No. We'll just leave early. No, this drop, is a, drop you off. This is a pull it out of the woods. Oh fuck! How are we gonna get back there? This is a pull it out of the woods ordeal. The only thing that we have that's got a trailer hitch is fucking two wheel drive and slam to the ground. Well, I don't. Well, it'll be all right. It won't be all right. Look like a field, so it'll be all right. You have to take mine. Right. I've driven, I've driven lowered cars to cars in the field before. Well, I'm sure so you we, have. We drove a Camaro through a field on accident. That doesn't mean it's right across a two foot ditch what are you Dylan no we, we were running from the police oh uh, I think Dylan was too <laughs> Dylan probably just did it because it was a Tuesday so we were, we were running from the police it was really late at night and uh, the road turned right went like this and uh, you know went like that and we went straight nice into the corn over the ditch into the cornfield yeah and uh, kept going. And, and no, it got oh. far enough into the cornfield. My my buddy that was driving it was my car, but my buddy was driving. He turned the lights off, oh. and and we watched that state cop go all the way around us. You got us. You got away from the statey. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I fucking hate the stateys, yeah. bro. I think he started another fire. Well, we had a good lead on him. Well, there's oh, there's yeah. a roach in that in that thing too. So, Is there? So there'll be a good fire anyway. Nice, nice. We'll all be high. Right. Dude, but. Uh, uh, we, we had a good lead on him. 
No. So, because we seen him. Right. You know, he was coming back. We were all screwed up. He was coming back from, uh, uh, supposed to be my buddy's uncle's property out in Prairie Town, but it turned out that it wasn't his property uh, anymore. Right. But it didn't stop us from going out there and partying all the time. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Right. <laughs> turned out it wasn't his property anymore. And, uh, we were coming back and we seen him. And, and as as he passed us, he hit his brakes. But there was there's no place to turn around. Right, right. He had to, he had to drive up and hit a driveway, which was for way further up. Right. And so my buddy just nailed it. And I think it's St. James Road. I think is what we turned on. Okay. I don't remember the name of the road, but we he hit the next road. No idea where it went. Right. He hit the next road and just floored it. Nice. Floored it. And how we didn't all die when we went over that ditch. Like, we had enough speed. That we just cleared it, I think. Did you guys <laughs> did it like pause midair and somebody come over and like no. do a voiceover? Right. <laughs> well, then right. boys didn't, got themselves into now. Didn't even know we hit the ditch. Right. Didn't well, you didn't know. hit the ditch. You cleared yeah. it. And then we stayed out there and finished partying the rest of the night. Right. We figured, you know. So was the car stuck or did you drive it out? Drove it out. No, no shit. Yeah, it drove it out. Nice. Was so, the corn up? Yep. The corn was up. The corn just, was up. So you cleared a corn path and he still couldn't find you. Nope. Interesting. Nope. Interesting. So, There's a lot of holes in this story. It, that's the way it happened. <laughs> that's I don't, the way it happened. That's the way you recall it. Well, that might be true, too. Right. We didn't... I remember the cop. I remember him coming after us, and he didn't get us. Probably so. not even chasing you. That's so, the best part. <laughs> no, he came after us. Lights on? Yep. All right. Yep. Lights on. I remember it. One time I was running on the bike from the police. His lights... Somebody lit me up, right? So... Because in Alton, you're not supposed to be loud. Oh, of course, yeah. I'm always loud. So the lights, lights hit. You know, I can obviously see the fucking reflection everywhere. So I nail it because I'm only like two, three blocks from the house. So of course, I take the six block route, so that way I don't get caught. Right. So I come around this corner and fucking drop it on a pile of leaves. Fuck, <laughs> I'm, I'm leaning, I'm leaning this bike like I'm fucking, <laughs> like I, like I'm in moto fucking GP, you know. <laughs> And I lean this bike and fucking slide down the fucking road. And I t- get up and I pick the bike up and I look around. There's no one chasing me right. at all. No one. Right. <laughs> like, they just turned it on to yell at me. Oh, man. Motherfucking Mexico. Oh, shit. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, managed to Hola. Hola. Como esta? Uh, no habla espanol. Si habla inglés. Do you speak English? Yeah. Is, my, no. is my delivery late? Oh. Yeah, well. Shit. We, uh, Madison County is always famous for not chasing you, but like turning around to follow you to see where you're going. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, when you're a kid, you just duck into your buddy's driveway. Sure, sure. We're close. Right. And then you get out and knock on the door and pretend like that's where you were going. And they've, they've always, they always just, they, what they do is they'll go up the road and just sit and wait for you. Because <laughs> they ain't got nothing better to do anyway. It's not like they should be out looking for missing people or anything. <laughs> this dude's called me four fucking times. Can't well, figure it out. It's important. Well, now he's calling me from his email. From his email? <laughs> I don't know how that works. FaceTime audio from Mr. Espinoza at 765 at iCloud.com. What? Hola. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hey, compa, hola, ya? Uh, uh, I only speak English. Okay. No speak English? Uh, no speak español? Uh, no, no hablo español. Okay, este, disculpe, pues muchas gracias. No, I just said... No habla espanol, and then you continued in Spanish. Thank you, thank you. Oh, well, now you get now you know English. What the fuck? What are we doing? What's up, buddy? What do you need? Ah, oh, fuck. You know, <laughs> I don't want to sound like Pitbull, but I'm, I'm far from Mr. Worldwide here. If right. I can't, if I only speak English. Right. All right. So does he have the wrong number? Is he going to call back? I hope he calls back seven more times. I hope he calls back. He can hand me the phone. Yeah, do you know a little, you know? I know, I know enough to make him mad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's probably just trying to buy cigars, you know, 
You put table thirty six in Mexico. Yeah, in Mexico. you're in New they'll, Zealand. You're they'll, international. They'll, they'll, I am. The problem is, is they'll delabel them and sell them to people as Cubans down there. All right, they'll put them in a five count box. <laughs> <laughs> sell All them right. on a beach. All right, uh, you want to wrap this up? So sure. this Friday should be really fantastic. It's going to be the uh, the Grande. Yeah, seventy three Mustang Grande on the uh, on the channel. So bought, <clears throat> trailered, made run, sold, dumped dumped gone uh it's easiest fu- sell like we've ever made it's the, the fuck you i went yeah, through 30 like, fucking messages so easy, of fucking though. dick beaters jesus christ <laughs> so easy though show uh, up with cash that's it no jesus no it was like you know no i'm saying that's uh, what yeah. if you want a car the, the problem is is they don't read that so they don't uh, they don't read anything they're like they liter- they, they'll literally look at the ad and ask me what color the car is <laughs> Motherfucker, there's 29 pictures Listen, of it. For for being on a text only service for so many years, there's so many illiterate people out there. Right. Absolutely yeah. illiterate. Right. This car is rusty. How, right. how bad's the rust? Did you see the pictures? Right. It's bad. Zoom the fuck in. Like, we thought it was solid, but it was the street sign that made it solid. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know how I missed those streets, that bright yellow street sign when I was under the car looking. So some guy's like, hey, how are the floors? I'm like, yeah, they sound solid. You know, and they did. Because right. the door, doors aren't dropping. You know, like, so every, all the indications of this car being, you know, pretty solid, minus the surface rust and on the every single body panel there was. Right. Um, so the first guy that comes and looks at it crawls under. He goes, hey, you know there's a street sign under there? And I was like, no, I sure didn't. <laughs> no. Chuck was under there changing the oil, doesn't see the fucking well, street sign. <laughs> Bright yellow street sign. I yeah. didn't see it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, thanks DOT for keeping that Mustang. That's right. Yeah, up and running. So, uh, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it. the guy was super excited to get it. Yeah. Like, that was a, like his girl just like, here's the money. Super excited. So, and Chuck's like, I can drive it home. So he drives it to her house and he goes, that could have been the last time. <laughs> so it probably burnt down. It probably wasn't the last time, but it probably burnt down. Yeah, it's probably fine. Yeah, it was cold that day. Yeah, well, it was cold that day because I was keeping my hands over the fire. <laughs> the carburetor was leaking so much gas it caught fire, and then, like these people, you know, like people are looking at the car and they're like, "Hey, you got a fire?" And I was like, "Fuck, it's cold out." So I'm just warming my hands <laughs> up. It's gonna burn away. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's off. Like going nowhere. Right. So I'm just sitting there burning, you know, warming my hands up, and I go, "Does your car do this?" Yeah, that no. was the that was the only car i've ever seen that would backfire and catch a carburetor on fire that wouldn't you turn the key and it would suck the fire back in. it wouldn't it suck nope. it wouldn't suck the fire back in nope. i tried it the only car i've ever seen that's ever done that yeah no well it was burning like that front float that was it was right. like burning there so like i'm just i'm like this i'm just like fucking got my hands over it and i go does your new truck do this right i mean yeah. i bet it doesn't does it no like what if i was hungry right got, now i could keep my lunch warmers, up. but we got hand warmers right i got a hand warmer right here you don't have this they, this was a fucking rare option this right. is only a grande option that's right that was a grande hand warmer right so built yeah. by holly yeah yeah <laughs> fucking fucked up by holly <clears throat> all right i need to go all right no events no nothing what yeah no uh saturday unless you want to drive to sykes then yeah yeah uh, so yeah Sykes but by the time anybody sees us, we'll be there. So yeah, right. So right. Uh, if you're near Southern Missouri watching a podcast, um, no, come on down. So I think we're gonna do a whiskey barrel giveaway if you buy a box of cigars. So yeah, try to make it a big time event, and I'm going to Pacific the week before Christmas. So you know, hopefully, I work this hard next year um, to make nothing. Just to well, okay. these little bits are. Fucking give me something to juggle with. Well, so. well, maybe we'll get some East Coast business in oh, January. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we gotta go to AP Cigar and yeah. uh, oh, in New Jersey. In New Jersey, <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna walk in there in a tracksuit and my gold chain out. And I'm gonna be like, listen here, motherfucker. With an AP Cigar hat on. Yeah, I am the OG. <clears throat> I am the OG AP, and you're gonna fucking carry these cigars. Right. And I'm gonna walk in with a baseball bat. Right. So Jeff's gonna film it. He's gonna be uh, my. He's gonna be my camera crew. I'll just be. Right. Right. Jeff's gonna right. have two guns. So. Right, you have to figure out what you can need to punch him in. Right, hey, don't forget to beat off Eagles. Uh, that's coming yes. up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you got to beat off the Eagles. <laughs> so, uh, get your hands off. That's great. Yeah. So, nothing like fucking with the cops. Right. 
All right. Like, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Tell us how terrible the podcast is. And uh, it's, it's really important to comment. Right. Uh, no matter what you comment, yeah, it's just, important to comment. Just fuck off. Right. Like, it literally just say fuck off. Any, you guys inter- suck. any interactions yeah, and interactions. Yeah, you guys suck. Yeah. Right. Any interactions and interactions. So. Jeff, can you do some professional uh, sign off? Yeah, there you go. This is the Unrolled Cigar Podcast. Check us out every week on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. And we appreciate all of you that watched. That wasn't so bad. I kind of liked that. Yeah, good yeah. job. Better than we do. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> the last time you're coming on. <laughs>